When Osa came out, she was one of my least favorite operators to ever be released in Siege. If you've been around my channel that long, then you would know this. And I've even made a video saying how I would want to buff her. But pretty much like Thorn, I have completely changed my opinion on her. And in this operator how-to, I'm going to discuss how to play her and whether you should be playing her or not. Like always with these operators how to, I'm going to discuss her gadget first. And her gadget is the Talon 8 Clear Shield that she can hold up to two of these. Now it's pretty obvious by the name of what this gadget is. It's a shield that you can place on, on any ground surface and is a completely see-through shield. You may be thinking to yourself because it's see-through that it's not really going to make you safe. Because the defenders can just see you right through it and see you behind it. But you'd be really surprised by this. It's just a simple concept of you can place down cover at any point you want. Also, Osa is the closest thing we'll ever get to an attacking mirror. Now, there is a few things you need to know about the Talon 8 Clear Shield. Is if you try to go up to a barricade and place down your gadget interaction, then it will completely destroy the barricade. However, when you're placing down a shield, your side of your arms are exposed so defenders can start shooting at it. However, she is a 3 armor, so you can take more shots. However, unless they're above you, they cannot shoot your head at all. You can also do this on door barricades, and if you notice, I can just destroy the barricade by placing it down, and I can cancel the animation. So that's a quick way to rush with Osa if you would like to. The strongest place to be playing Osa is outside of the Breach. So example on Hero CCTV, which is a popular site on Clubhouse, this is a very good spot to bring Osa, because you can place it down here on concrete, and just start swinging everything. Now, if you go up to a windowsill and successfully place down your talent a clear shield on the window, then playing on windows is pretty easy. You, like I said, you can just quick peek and just kind of annoy the defenders. However, if you do decide to place a shield on the window, then this can lead to one of Osa's main counters. A few years back, they added a feature called the Shattered Glass Effect. And what this does is if you go up to a Master Evil Eye, Mirror Window, or a Bulletproof Camera and hit the glass on them, the glass will be shattered. Unfortunately, this rule also applies to Osa. If you go up to the glass and melee it, it will be completely shattered on both sides. However, if you're playing Osa and you let a defender go up to your shield and melee it, you pretty much deserve to have it destroyed. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention this. There is a red canister on the back that you can shoot and it will completely destroy the shield. Is this really useful in most scenarios? No, but I thought I should mention it just in case you find it out and then you wonder what happened. The most common ways to counter Osa shields, however, is through an impact grenade or a natural cell that you can see on screen now. Pay attention to where you are placing your gadget, because a poorly placed Osa shield will not only waste your time, but might end up getting you killed in the process. That is probably why Osa isn't played as much as I think she really should be, but I can kind of understand that. However, on the contrary, if you place an Osa shield correctly, then it could literally win you the entire round. The defenders will try to swing you or even try to impact you, and while they're trying to impact you, you can swing them and then kill them, getting you a free pick and giving you potentially man advantage. I have come to appreciate operators like Osa, strictly because there is a layer of death to her. It's unlike Ash, where you're kind of playing TDM and entry fragging. You actually have to think when you play Osa, and that's what I love about Siege. It's because there is operators like that. It's kind of why I'm enjoying Brava right now. It's because I have to think with her. I can't just straight up drive my drone straight in the site, hack some EDDs, maybe hack an ADS or two. No, I have to think about where I'm joining because there potentially could be a defender in my line of sight that could just easily destroy my drone. And I also have to think about what I need to hack as opposed to what I want to hack. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope you do. Also, I kind of got off track, so let's go ahead and talk about her loadout. As for primary options, she comes with the PDW SMG that you can find on Jackal and the Thermite's AR. Only secondary option, she comes with the PMM handgun. My own personal opinion, despite Thermite's AR being my favorite AR in the entire game, I run the PDW because of faster firing 50 rounds in the mag, and it has solid damage for an SMG. And not to mention, it has very simple recoil to learn, especially if you run the newly buffed compensator with a very quick reload time I add. Finally, moving on to her secondary gadgets, she comes with the very easy to use EMP impacts, claymores, and smoke grenades. The obvious use cases for all these gadgets is use EMP impacts to help get the wall, or potentially even disable some gadgets, use smoke grenades to block off line of sight for the defenders, and use claymores if you don't want defenders to run out, or just run nomad. I pretty much gave you all the objective information you need to know about Osa, and now time to my personal opinion, and I was a fool back in the day. 
basically what I'm getting at is that I thought I was a shit player and I did not realize the potential of Osa back in the day. And if you are a competitive player and you don't have Osa already, she's around 20,000 renown and I 100% recommend you pick her up. Or if you're a casual player, then I recommend you pick her up as well because her PDW is very fun to use. Not to mention the PDW is kind of busted, I'm not going to lie. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and save this into the video. It is basically 1 in the morning right now while I'm making this video, and you might have seen that I made a community post saying that I'm probably not going to upload today. Well, here I am. I'm staying up late just to make this video. If you like what I make, I appreciate it if you subscribe, and if you're interested in any other operators, I've covered almost all of them, so go check out the plays because you might find your new favorite operator. With that said, I'm Credit Tony. I hope you have a good day or good night, and goodbye.